entire visual presentation just got wiped. So, <laughs> I know. So, like, uh, uh, just by a power power out just now, and uh, and when it came back up, there was only one slide. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if this is gonna go the whole 50 minutes now. So, um, I'm just gonna. I just kind of have to wing this. This is kind of, uh, this is gonna just go off my raw, my raw notes, uh, unfortunately. But anyway, what's it? No, no, it's not. It isn't. Can I get a what? Sorry? Oh, it did get erased. Well, I mean, because it, when it came back up, there was only like, no, it's not on the TV. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's why I was, I was just asking whether there was another slot or something I could, I could use, but it, I don't think there are any, any more slots. And I think this is kind of the last. Uh, so, um, <laughs> all right. So anyway, like um, my research this past year has been on this, uh, on, um, on the Linksys WRTP VOIP proxy router. And um, the reason why I think this, 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 is a, this, is, this is a worthwhile presentation is because, this, the reason why I think this, this, this router is really kind of bridges the gaps in many ways is because, um, like in the past, like, uh, you know, like um, owning telecom was kind of like in the domain of like, uh, of the phone freak. I mean, you had to, be like pretty dedicated to like, uh, I mean, trashing RC Max, um, and uh, you know, being able to like social engineer, like uh, the, the telcos, um, in order to be able to like, uh, uh, you know, manipulate like the the telephone medium, um, and uh, you know, of course, there were the dedicated dedicated freaks to do that. But I think with uh, uh, I think with this router coming out, um, what it allows. Um, it, it kind of bridges the, gra the gap and it allows Linux hackers now to essentially become phone freaks um, um, and achieve many of the same capabilities as uh, the phone freaks have in the past. For instance, um, you know, like, uh, of course, like, you know, f f phone freaks, like, in general have, um, you know, uh, uh, m you know f far more, like, robust capability, but Yep. Yeah, there's no more slots. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, and then, uh, so like, uh, you know, in the, ca in the case, of, like I was saying, in the case of a phone freak, um, you, you, can, you can social engineer the, the telco in order to like be able, be able to manipulate the line class codes of um, a telephone line to basically do it, do what you want. You can, um, you know, the, the, in the previous domain of phone freaks was be, being able to do things like spoof call, caller IDs, you know, um, call spoofing, you know, changing the line class code of, of, of a line so you can turn it into a payphone, you know, all those sorts of things. Um, and with VOIP, like kind of being in the in the domain, like you know, it adds the medium of the internet uh, internet to it now. So um, what you have is a uh, you know, by you can do all this this sort of manipulation before that was like in the in the realm of the phone freak, um, just by hacking the kernel, um, and uh, and you know the problem up to this point is that uh, you know that well this is the very, this is the very first router that has been um, that is that uh, VOIP router that's been released that is Linux based. So this opens up a you know whole world of uh, possibilities as far as like its deobfuscation. Um, and kind of like, uh, and, f un and understanding it, of course, you know, like the, um, it, it's, it's tied to only one vendor and that's, that's the primary issue with it. And this vendor doesn't really have any reason to want you to have any access to, you know, to its Linux architecture. So, um, uh, but of course, like, uh, uh, so that's the whole, the whole idea of my, I guess my presentation is, was to, um, kind of show you how to, um, first of all, unlock like uh, all the capabilities that are crippled before it was released. 
and um, and then also how to manip manipulate that firmware to like be able to um, uh, you know, like um, customize it as well as uh, um, you know, add your own features to it as well. Um, you know, third-party um, firmware right now is, is a big business. So um, in that sense, um, like this is a, you know, I, I think there's a, there's a lot of capability um, with this, uh, with this architecture. Um, based on the TI, um, Texas Instrument, AR7, dual proc, which is uh, uh, based on uh, um, uh, one part MIPS 32 bit and the other part is the um, DSP 6330X. Um, and so uh, what you have like is you have two, two different like, uh, here's the board. And of course, you know, you, you do have like a, a JTAG and you have seri serial capabilities. You need, you need to have a converter to be able to convert from 12 volt to 5 volt. But um, like, uh, and like the specs of the board, um, you've got uh, two, uh, you've got native um, uh, built in QoS into the hardware. You've got native T38 codec support for fax, uh, um, uh, fax codec processing. You've got, um, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's a natural proxy router. And it's also got wireless capability. It's, it's actually got a, 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 a TI ACX 111 mini PCI slot in here. And you've got, um, and so, so like, uh, so it's, it's actually a very, very capable, very, you know, very powerful system in, in itself. And ideally, um, I think if you were, you really, I mean, this is a unit that you can get anywhere from, from between 50 to hundred dollars. And so, um, ideally you can, you can actually run asterisk on it natively, um, which is a PBX software to allow you to do all, uh, m m make use of all these capabilities that, that I just mentioned. So, um, excuse me while I'm scrolling through these raw notes, but, um, So, yeah. hmm. Okay, so anyway, source is available for this for this router. Like you can go to you can go to Linksys site and get get most of the source um, available for it. Um, and uh, Vonage, which is the, uh, the major major vendor that it's tied to, um, there's only only a couple a uh, couple of different modules that they don't that they don't release. I mean, there's everything else. The source is available for it. So. So it is possible to, uh, to customize it as, as, as you want to, if you have access to it. So um, I was, I guess in my demo, I was going to kind of do the step by step of, of showing you how to root this, root this router. Um, but uh, since I don't have anything up, so I'm, I'll just kind of like, uh, just kind of uh, go down the list of, uh, of exactly how it's done. Um, unfortunately, you don't have anything to look at, but um, uh, what, what you need to do is, you, uh, if you get this router, you have to put it online in order for um, it to auto-provision. And so that, what, what that does is that um, allows um, uh, Vonage to be able to put, uh, to, f uh, to put its firmware um, upgrade onto the router itself because it's going to come stock with a, 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 a 2.20 firmware. And you want the latest firmware on there because you want the, the capability of being able to like upgrade through the web interface. 
So, um, so if you do that, um, and you let you let it out of provision, um, then you can go. Um, it has a natural IP of 192.168.15.1, and so with that natural IP, you can use a. Um, you can um, get. Um, you, oh, if 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 you hit that, and then you use the. Um, uh, the default pass for uh, Tvon and uh, uh, user Tvon PW. Um, you can actually get into it, and and then uh, you. Uh, I don't know. This is <laughs> it's actually kind of impossible to explain because there's there's a, s a series of URLs that you have to go to in order to get uh, um, the the admin pass, uh, the the, the hash script key. And using the hash script key, you can then um, uh, uh, you, you ha it's it's you using that hash script key with um, the with FC4 encryption, you can then decrypt the uh, the URL to the, uh, the the hidden page um, that it has. Um, huh? Yeah, I mean, I'll, what I'll probably do is I'll probably just put all the stuff on. My link or something, so that you guys, if 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 you're interested at, at some future time, you can actually see how it's done, because I can't really explain any of this stuff. Um, that would be um, www.m-a-g.net, and so um, magnet, yeah, uh, m-a-g.net. Yeah, like M dash A dash G, so it'd be like magnet dot net. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know it's forbidden at this point in time. Um, but I, I'll I'll put everything up on there, um, because I guess I don't think this is this is going to be very effective without any uh, without a like a visual portion of this presentation, unfortunately. And they don't have any more slots. So anyway, I'm really, I really apologize for this uh, not having um, what I hope to have. <laughs> it's really unfortunate, but um, I can't really wing it with like what I have here. <laughs> so.